look, a lot of stuff has come your way. Um, it's hard to even think about this as being kind of a state of the union, a state of the business, but to kind of bring it all together, wrap it all up, kind of put a bow on, on kind of what's going on and why, Stuart's going to come up one last time and is going to knock it out. So let's make sure. I know he's been working it. He's, been, he's, he's over there. He's ready to go. The question is, are you ready to go? So here's what I want you to do. On this one, I want you to give him a standing ovation to get him to the stage. So let's get him on stage. Come on, everybody up. Let's get him up okay, here. All right. Here we go. Uh, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of some numbers last year. Tom alluded to some of these. I want to share two stats with you. In 2013, our top five locations produced sales on average of 1.1 million. Top five guys, average sales, 1.1 million. 2014, those same top five locations produced sales on average of 1.3 million. That's a very impressive stat. The stat that impressed me much more was when I backed up and I looked at our top 10. Top 10 in 2013 at this meeting compiled 8.4 million of revenue at the end of 2013. Top 10, same top 10 in 2014, produced 10.2 million. One year later, they had produced, those same ones had produced $1.8 million more in revenue. And so we can go through all of the programs and do all of the things that we want to do, but you guys know at the end of the day that it's really about the numbers, right? We couldn't be here and you couldn't pay for your hotel room and we couldn't be in this building if the numbers weren't growing. So sure, our total revenue is growing as a company. You know, we did $22 million in revenue this year. 2013, we did $16.5 million. But the total revenue as a company grows because we have new locations, right? You all know that. What's important to me is how are the existing guys growing from one year to the next? What do those top 10 guys look like from this year to the next year? Are they growing? Are the marketing incentives that we're doing working? Are the websites working? Is the brand growing? Um, and to me, especially if you think about a 20% net profit margin, which most of our guys are, anybody can do that quick math and see uh, those top 10 guys got a $360,000 raise from last year to this year. Net cash in your pocket. Good year. I want to transition into, into the intangible because the tangible is easy to see. Uh, the numbers are easy to read and, and digest. But to me, I, I try to get a feel as I said, when we look at the intangible of what's going on in the company, what are people really doing, what, what's going on with the value of the businesses. I watched several franchises sell this year for good money. Uh, I watched owners really start to make a significant net profit margin and make real money uh, this year. And, and a lot of things are changing within our company. I was watching a um, TED talk of, of a guy that I like, a business guru guy, Simon Sinek. Uh, the other day. It is third or fourth time I'd watched the video and this was maybe a month ago it dawned on me as he was making his his presentation about the why of business and about that time I start working on the owners meeting and I watch his video and it hits me his presentation about exploring the why behind we're in business is exactly what I wanted to talk about you guys today I wanted to basically take his premise um, and try to take a few minutes and have you guys really think about it and take this away from, from my time today. So let me go through what he talks about, and I want to take his, his thesis and throw it right into our business, okay? Um, he discusses the, the, the what, the how, and the why behind a business. Okay, I'm going to be asking some questions in a minute. I want to see some hands raised, so pay attention. Uh, every business owner knows what they do. Agree? You're at the bar tonight. Hey, man, what do you do? I'm a lawyer. I'm a doctor. I mean, everybody knows what they do, right? What do you do? What do you do? Most business owners know how they do it, right? I'm a great lawyer because I go in and I'm, I do this and I have a billing thing and I've got two paralegals and I, you know how you do it. What Simon points out is only some business owners know why they do it. And he says if you start with the why and if you analyze the why, you should analyze from there and go into your business. My question to you today, are you operating, I want you to think about this, either write it down, answer it, raise your hand, whatever you want to do. Are you operating your business around the same set of principles which we market with? Let me ask you that again. Are you operating your business with the same set of principles 
which we market with. Well, to be able to answer that, I would think you need to know what are those principles, right? We've spent the past two days kind of glossing on them, and we highlight them, and we talk about them here and there, and they're on the PowerPoint, and they're at these places, and they're, what are they? Let's talk about them. ASP, we provide swimming pool solutions at economical prices. What's the key word there? What's the key word? Solutions. So one of the slogans that we market all year long, I do a little research, I realize we market this all the time. We're providing swimming pool solutions at economical prices. ASP, changing the way homeowners view the swimming pool industry one customer at a time. What's the key word there? Changing. You guys are good. I got it. All I had to do is underline it and bold it. ASP, changing the way a homeowner views the swimming pool industry. Now, now we start to have some significant power to these things. ASP, why trust just anyone in your backyard? Pretty big words, right? Solutions, change, trust. So as I realize what are the whys of our business, I realize all I've got to do is look on our website, look on our slogan, look on the back of some of the t-shirts, look on the direct mail pieces, and this is everywhere. So if I backed up a slide, I would say, I, I question, are you operating the business first with the why? So these are the principles I came to realize, trust, change, solutions. We actually, for better or for worse, we actually are actively marketing the why that we're in business. Question, are we living up to it? Okay, so that's the why, right? Simon Sinek would have said, start with the why. I, I believe that, that in a lot of cases, we are. We're marketing that way. I think that's why the phone rings. We marketed change. We marketed trust us. We marketed, I've got your solutions. They pick up the phone and they call us. Well, what do we do? How is our system in action? How do we operate? How do we operate? Well, what, what would you say? How, how do you do what you do? You, you provide solutions. That's incredible, man. How do you... How you provide change. How do you, let me ask you this. You ask a little 12-year-old girl, you turn to her, you say, what are you going to do when you grow up? She says, she says, I'm going to change the world. What's the first question you ask her? How? How the hell are you going to change the world? How do we operate, right? We're providing change and solutions. You can trust us. How? How? Why can you trust us? We've got a national system and a national brand. Oh, we do employee background checks, right? So what does that mean? We know exactly who is in your backyard, Ms. Jones. You can trust us. We have matching, matching company vehicles. And by the way, in 2015, some of those vehicles are going to start to look a hell of a lot better than the vehicles in 2014 and 13 and 12, right? But they match. So what does that mean? They, they, my service guy pulls up in your driveway. He's going to be in a vehicle that looks exactly like my maintenance guy. You can trust us. Uniformed employees, so they get out, let's talk about uniforms. So they get out and they look like this guy on the right, right? He matching company uniforms, matching company vehicles, trust. How do we operate? We've got purchasing power. We're providing swimming pool solutions and, and they're at economical prices. We've got a national brand, so we buy stuff cheaper than the next guy. Phone rings, we answer it. You can find us. We have web presence, significant web presence. You can find us when you need us. Trust. You want to know what our customers think about us? Man, what an awesome stat that only half of you in this room are above average. The other half of you stink at getting Google reviews, right? So I'm speaking to half of you only. The other half that don't have a Google review, plug your ears. You guys did a great job getting Google reviews. You can have customer references and testimonials. Somebody searches to learn something about you because you sent them a direct mail piece and because you have a great website and they go to it, you can learn about us. Trust. Oh, by the way, we operate our business, Miss Jones, with something unique to the swimming pool industry. No other competitor is going to provide you with a digital route sheet. I'm not going to slap some crap door hanger on your door. 
like an average pool guy, I'm going to send you an email with a picture of your pool. I'm going to do things with a system called pool ops. It's like nothing else in the pool business. I'm going to have GPS tracking, paperless communication, pictures of the pool and the equipment, and I'll tell you exactly where your pool levels are and what you can do to your pool and how good it looks when I leave. Trust. Communication. All of those practices are the how of how we operate, right? So if we, if we started with the why and we told everybody why we're providing change and solutions and you can trust us, you've got to be doing the how in all of those ways. So back to the question I originally posed you, are you operating your business based on that why? Because you're marketing that you are. 850,000 pieces, a million pieces of direct mail said that we can trust you, and, and, and why we can trust you is because your guys look like that, your vehicles are clean, you have a good website, you've got Google reviews, your employees had background checks and they're all dressed the same in a good looking vehicle. What do we do? Hey man, what do you do? All I do is clean pools, right? That's it. We clean pools. That's all we do. Can we earn your business? I mean, that's all, you're, that's all you're doing, right? I clean pools. So if you start with the why, somebody is going to do business with you because of that. It doesn't matter that you clean pools. You're starting with the why, and you're telling them exactly how it is and why it is that they should do business from you. So Simon Sinek ultimately points out that people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. And so we market trust, change, solutions. Your 2015 challenge. Okay, so you're going to walk away from this meeting and you're going to have these big ultimate goals and you've written down what you're going to do next year and you're going to, you're going to use pool ops and you're going to do all of these things. But I would ask you to take it a step further and start with the why. Go back and analyze your organization. Go back and have team meetings with your people. Go back and reevaluate some of the goals for next year because I think you need to take a step back and reanalyze those things and start with the why. Work then to improve the how. Right? If you go back and believe in the why and why you're actually doing it and why you're doing it in your market, you then need to change and improve the how. Right? How? Well, you're not buying shirts enough, and your, tr your, tr your truck, one of your trucks isn't decaled, and one of your employees didn't have the background check, but you're saying that they do. Okay, so my challenge to you in 2015 is go back, start with the why, work to improve the how. All of those things are going to improve what it is that you do. We clean and repair swimming pools. My opinion been the best meeting that we've had um, in eight years. It'll be the best party tonight that we've had in eight years. I thank you for your loyalty and for your dedication. Start with the why next year, and I'll see you tonight. <laughs>